Hello there, Leo. Welcome. This is your March 2022 reading. Um, you and the person that you're interested in, what's going on with you. It's your site. This is your person's site. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Leo. Your current energy. Ooh, what's going on, Leo? Hidden emotions. Okay, it looks like you have people. Sorry, I put lotion on for you. You have people who are um, coming towards you with offers here. And you don't know if you want to take them. You're looking at these three cups here for some reason. And you don't see these offers coming in. You have a page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have a page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then you have the moon is a Pisces. Hidden emotion, something hidden from you. There's either a surprise in this cup here. There also might be an apology. There's someone might be bringing you a gift too. So what's going on here? Let's see. What is currently going on with Leo? And why do we have all these pages? They might be younger than you or not as mature. Okay, let's see. Find out about this page of pentacles. Ooh. There was a painful ending. And now offers coming from this on that one. What about the page of cups? This one is trying to balance things out or trying to make a decision. Or you're trying to make a decision on when you get this offer. Definitely a decision to be made. What about this um, four of cups? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got a lot of decisions to be made. But... It looks like things are working in your favor. You're getting a lot of attention. These might be job offers. These might be love offers. Um, might be different for different people here. But there was a painful ending. and um, But now there's now the offers are coming in. Okay. Let's see what's going on on their side. Let's see what's going on the person that you're interested in. What's going on on their side? Okay, they're taking a little breather. They might be on vacation at this time or maybe taking a time out, but it looks like they might be watching you, spying on you, trying to find out some information. They're trying to dig out some information here. This could have been a third party situation between you guys with this three of swords hanging over them. They might be really thinking about what happened and, and maybe this is this ending here, um, but they are watching. They're trying to find out what you're up to, what's going on. And we do have the, um, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is Virgo energy. The Hermit could be their energy just trying to find some solutions, some answers um, for their questions, especially since they have some kind of research going on here. Plus, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a spy guy, but it also could be... Um, you know, you could be doing, um, they, what, well, you're not going to be doing, I'm sorry, they could be doing some kind of research on something uh, other than, you know, spying on you, but I don't know, it feels more like a spy here. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Time, and Destiny, something's destined to happen here with them. So let's um, clarify this. Why is the Four of Swords here? Dear. And deep in thought about work or putting the work in or maybe trying to get into a partnership with you. Or are they taking a break from work? They could be taking a break. Or from a partnership. And what about this page of swords? Yes. Yes. That's what I feel. They're, they, this is you. They're, they're tapping into your energy or trying to find out about you. Um, soulmate. Twin flame deep connection i think they're just trying to figure out how to get back together with you why is the hermit here oh yeah they're they're taking a time out here between the four swords and the hanged man hanging man here on this card um pisces energy they're really looking at things in all different angles they're they're like checking things out trying to figure things out trying to get some information on what's going on with you though magician they want to manifest something here they're working on manifesting they might be um i almost doing they're trying to mentally send you messages 
Okay, Aries and Aquarius with the Magician. Okay, now, let's see. What are your thoughts about your person? What are your thoughts about your person? You're holding on to them. And your thoughts are of creating something new here within uh, you want a new opportunity to have a stable foundation and a loving caring environment and also i feel like it's very intuitive too you feel this intuitive connection this deep soul made connection and um you want to create something this could be also someone that wants to have a family with them or you could be pregnant or they could they could be praying it, whichever way that works for you guys, whatever gender you are here. Um, but yeah, wanting to procreate <laughs> together, maybe that'd be the easiest way to say this. Um, but also, also procreate a, a connection, a loving connection, a very abundant connection here, very loving, abundant connection. And we do have the five of wands, so there might be um, some competition here. Yeah, there's some kind of um, competition, or you could also be struggling with this. This could be your mental thoughts things you're struggling with. We do have the Queen of Pentacles also, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, right over the. Yeah, this. Um, think about whether or not to make an offer to this person, seeing them as um, very nurturing, caring, stable, very stable. I feel like you feel this person is very stable, very nurturing. Okay. And you want to manifest something here, a loving environment with them, something really amazing. I think you you think about this a lot. And we have the Ace of Swords wanting to speak to them, having some kind of communication, getting to the truth, breaking through any kind of barriers because they feel like there's barriers here that you would just want to cut down, start something new. Okay, now, what are their thoughts about you? okay they want a commitment here got the hierophant taurus energy but they they have a lot of passion for you they look over at you they they see a lot of passion desire and it looks like they want to create something with you but they i think they might feel like there's a lot of people that are interested in you and they have to fight for your love and they also will have to have um this conversation here they want to get to this truth they want to have you both have the ace of swords so you want to have communication you want to have the truth coming out you want to have this um yeah it's like getting through any kind of barriers it's like i'm feeling like someone wants to knock down the barriers there's barriers here that are i don't know if you guys um put them up or someone else did almost feels like other people are involved okay let me um verify king of wands here they want to come fast towards you with a lot of passion this cancer energy they're trying to make up their mind how to do this because they know there's other people around you so they want to do this correctly they have to make a decision here with the two of wands and they want to come in quick definitely quick communication the knight of um, swords comes in really fast and this is with his big sword here communication and also we got the the chariot coming quick a lot of love for you a lot of emotions they want to tell you about this they want to have a conversation they want this long-term commitment the higher event here okay now your feelings for this person your feelings for your person what are your feelings wow look at all these pentacles long-term commitment finances with this um also balancing things out i think you want to try to work things out so you can work together as a team because you see long-term commitment you're holding on to this person you're not letting go let's clarify this ten of pentacles for you guys why do we have the ten of pentacles here yes a lot of memories a lot of deep commitment here because there's a lot of memories here it feels solid it feels 
something that can really prosper. And also, I think you feel like together you could really um, be financially stable, that you could work well together. What about this two of um, pentacles? Ooh. Balancing things out. Wheel of Fortune. You, you feel destined to be with this person. This is your person. You feel you're meant to be together. You're waiting for the divine timing. You're waiting for destiny. You're being patient. Even though it's getting, you're getting tired. I feel like someone's really being very patient, very good, trying to wait for the right timing, trying to wait for, you know, when the universe wants to, I don't know, why am I having a hard time with these cards? They're sliding on me. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I don't like messy. I don't like messy. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let's get this three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Okay, so you're trying to spy on them too. Okay, your feelings are that you know you need to find out what's going on. You would need to find out if who they're working with, if they're partnering up with someone else, is what I'm feeling. That's what you want to know with this the spy guy, and you know competition. You both feel like there's competition for each other. I think, but I think you both are standing above the rest for in each other's eyes and you're hanging on to this connection okay now let's see their feelings for you what are their feelings for you leo holding on to you <laughs> wanting to offer this cup not knowing if you take it coming in with an offer not thinking you might not take it okay so they're thinking about this should i bring leo a gift how can I present this towards Virgo Capricorn? And then you have the Knights of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Want to come with your offer of love? I mean, Page of Pentacles is younger. They're not as mature. Knight is doing a little better. Now, let's see. What do we have here? I'm wanting to work on this. Try and figure out how you can put the time and how they how they can put the time and how they can work on this. Let's clarify this um, for our Pentacles. The sun, your energy, yeah, you are, you make them happy. They're hanging on to this connection because you make them really happy. You're the sunshine for them. You light up their light. Okay, what about this four of cups? They are waiting, waiting for something. There's something that has to come in for them. There's something they have to wait for before they can make a move. There's something that's keeping them blocked, I feel. Okay, why do we have the Page of Pentacles? Might be just waiting for the right time here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. They see you as their lover. Gemini energy. Soulmate connection. You got the two of cups on their side, plus you have the lovers. They have a lot of love for you. And the bottom we have, and here's the card of feeling like, okay, you're all right by yourself. You don't need anybody else, but you might be single at this time. But they see you as being very independent, able to take care of yourself, maybe not needing them. Okay. Let's see. What action might you take towards this person? What action might you take towards them? Okay, thinking about this, what should you do? Should you put some work in? Should you go towards them? We have the High Priestess here. This is Cancer Virgo energy. And then we have the Knight and King of Wands will be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, you might look at them as being very mysterious. That you can't quite figure them out. There's something hidden. You can't, but you do have a lot of passion. So do you go towards them? Or... Is there feels like I always feel like if you you feel the strong connection, but you feel like there's almost like a, a invisible wall blocking you from coming towards them. It's almost like they block you somehow. It, it you know for someone I feel like they give you enough to keep you interested, but then they block you. What is that? Okay, let's clarify this. But you do want to go towards them. We have a lot of passion and desire for them. Okay. Why is the high priestess here? 
very mysterious death scorpio energy ending for a new begin a transformation but this is all hidden energy like so you want to transform this you had an ending with this person you want to bring it back around you want to transform things there's such a mysterious energy here uh, something that you don't know there's something hidden here okay what about this knight of wands They might have a habit or they might have an addiction that you don't know about that they keep from you and they don't want you to know about it. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. I mean, with this Knight of Wands or Don Juan, Don Wanda, this could be a sexual addiction for somebody. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. But there could be something that this person could be working on here. So you don't know if you want to go towards them or not because there's something something going on here or you or you might be obsessing over this person too there's something else something sneaky here and you want justice here okay someone's i think just someone's holding back this could be you holding back too you know just not because you're not sure i when i try to tap into your feelings about them and what you want to do here i feel get very confused by their energy okay let's go to their side because i'm too confused with this it's like i don't think you could do anything at this you want to do something you want an ending for a new beginning so far as you're doing something not at this time you're not going to make the move i don't know why that devil's there it could be a capricorn you're dealing with okay what's the action and maybe there's no kind make no kind oh boy <laughs> sorry maybe there isn't any kind of um addiction or energy that you have to worry about here maybe it's just say this person is capricorn okay let's see wow the lovers came up for them again. oh wow okay well they they look like they're going to do something here they're waiting for the right time pisces energy hangman seeing things in a different perspective they have this the world card completion endings for new beginning the lovers again gemini energy and fast communication fast moving forward so I don't think you have to worry about it. They're going to come to you and then you're just going to have to figure out what you want to do about this. Because I don't know what this is. Now this is not going to be for everyone. But that threw a little monkey wrench in and it's hard to understand what's going on with this person. Okay, what's, what's the world here for? Independence. This feels like a new start to me. This feels like this person wants to come in and start everything over and just have a brand new beginning with you. What about the lovers? Ah, oh, come on now. What is this sneaky energy? Okay, let me get um, one on this and then we'll go back to that. Ooh, you both got the death card here. You both want to bring this back around, I feel. Oh, and then we have the page of swords. The spy guy is back again. Okay, at the end, he's this person still watching you maybe that's a sneaky thing they're holding back they're watching you but with this card here i always feel like they have someone else doing their dirty work they got their little scouts going out getting the information and reporting back to them say so what you find out what's going on with leo okay now i'm gonna have to throw some cards on this one for you guys why is the seven of uh, swords here I might have to do it on that one too. If I'm doing this one, I might as well be fair and do it on both sides. Let's see, what, why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay. The Star. Oh. Well, that's beautiful. Strength. Wow. Leo Energy. This is them. Seeing you as their wish, the hopes, the dreams come true. A lot of love for you. And you make them very happy. They might be just holding this back from you. Okay, then that's not bad. That is clarifying the lover's card with the seven of swords now let me get a deck and see what you're up to over here why do you have the five of swords here oh wait this Ooh, okay you are stressing over this that's what the five of swords is you you might feel like you have to walk away or something because you're stressing over this but you do want long-term commitment 
you want to get a message to this person. There's, you want justice. You want things to be fair. There's some weird energy here. Okay, now please, guys, if this does not pertain to you, don't take it because it's it's very um. There's a lot of passion here. I have to try to get into this a little more here. It feels a lot of confusion. That's why I'm having a hard time reading. I feel like I'm getting blocked. I'm getting this information. We have the high priestess here. That means it's something hidden here. There is a transformation going on here. I almost feel like your energy is changing. You, I feel like you have a shift going on, something going on with you. And you have a lot of passion for this person. And you also feel um, maybe obsessing over it a little bit or something like that. But this person, you want this long-term commitment. You Here we have the Knight of Wands here twice. And you want justice, but you are stressing over it. So, But I think the whole thing that you're stressing over is you don't know what this person is up to. If they might say one thing and then they back off. I think they get a little um, nervous about commitment because their energy here is saying they love you. They're crazy about you. You have the lovers here twice. You have the soulmate card. They want to charge ahead. And then why aren't they? And that is what's confusing you. And it's confusing me too because I can't read this. But we do have the justice card here twice. So hopefully everything's gonna balance out. You're gonna get the you know what you need here from this person. Because you don't want to be dangling forever like this hangman. We got the hangman here twice. You're just dangling by your feet here, saying, What's going on? Oh <laughs> all right, let's see what signs we're dealing with. I hope that helps. I mean, I don't want to leave you in confusion, but you know, there's something not you don't know, there's something hidden. Okay, uh, but I do think you guys do have a spiritual connection. Uh, you probably do connect in the fifth dimension. We have Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries. So these are the signs you could be dealing with. All could be placements in the chart. You have all the air signs on the table here. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries. Placements in your chart, placement in their chart. Maybe other people involved here. You might not even know their placements. Please, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't make sense to you, say, nah, that doesn't sound right. It's not. This is your first impression when I'm saying something. is like, uh-uh, no. Go with that. That is, that is your... That is the universe talking to you and saying, no, this is not for you. Okay, just remember that. Whenever I say something, you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> then it's not for you. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload the readings, I usually do three or six at a time, and I try to do them almost every day. So um, you will get notified um, if you have the bell clicked on there. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again real soon.